Hello everyone, greetings from sunny Egypt. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com and today I'm filming another casual video for you while being on a vacation. Yes, Cupid sometimes are off duty. So it is only natural in my opinion to talk to you about your first vacation with a Ukrainian lady. Within the years I have already filmed uh, several videos devoted to this topic but since the borders have been reopened and it is getting safer to travel to uh, many more new destinations and i know that this topic uh, is really important and uh, is really up to date to many our clients and i believe this topic is also important to many our subscribers who are not our clients but who choose international dating for all the right reasons so i'm going to talk about your first vacation with the ukrainian lady from the very beginning let me make a so-called disclaimer guys if you have never met in person a ukrainian lady or any other lady and you have been talking online even for weeks or months you're not in relationship yet so if she claims that she can meet you only in the five-star hotel on bali she doesn't want to meet you she just wants a trip so if that's the case i would recommend you to drop that communication and uh, not to think too much about that or another crazy scenario if she is older than 25 or 27 years uh, but she claims that she can meet you only with her father mother sister and brother or friends since she claims it's not appropriate to meet you all alone and she is a decent lady she doesn't want to meet you either it's not your responsibility to pay for a vacation of your friend or her family um, I would say the exception would be the case when you both are in your early 20s and uh, your parents pay for your vacation, her parents pay for her vacation and in many cases uh, your family and her family just go together so that you, the kids in their early 20s, can spend a vacation together and the parents can still watch over you. In any other scenarios, uh, meeting for the first trip together and she's bringing with her her mother, sister, friend, father, etc. However, sounds like a crazy, stupid idea to me. If the lady is really interested, she would never want to bring a third will, a third person with her. She would want to have full attention of a man on her and she would want to have a uh, helpful focus on you. So right now we are talking about real scenario when people have chosen international dating for all the right reasons. They have met in person, they had several dates and since the gentleman has returned back home, a lady and the gentleman have established a strong communication, which means you are texting, talking on phone, talking on Skype, pretty much daily or every other day and you want to give it a try to test your acquaintance and to see if you can bring it to another level. Usually when our clients plan their first vacation, they want to see during this vacation if their relationship can actually grow into a defined relationship, into a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. And usually during this first trip, they actually define the relationship and decide to go steady after it and to uh, build uh, their boyfriend-girlfriend relationship to the next level further. So the first trip. What is really important to do is to understand uh, that you are on the same page, which means pretty often the gentleman already believes that uh, he is so much in love with the lady and she is in love with him and uh, that they are already dating and that she is just like him planning the name of their future kids and planning their wedding. And in real life, the lady is still thinking whether he considers her to be his girlfriend or whether he is uh, her boyfriend, so she's not thinking about baby names yet. So it is really important to understand where two of you stand if you are on the same page. Also, pretty often guys fall for this mistake. Uh, they tell the lady, okay, let's go to Turkey or let's go to Egypt or let's go to Maldives, uh, just uh, choose several hotels, send it to me and I will pay for it. And guys, if you are going on a trip with a Ukrainian lady, whom you consider to be your potential girlfriend or your girlfriend, 
I would say that in 99% cases, uh, she expects you to foot the bill for the trip. If you don't like it, if you believe into splitting the bills, then maybe dating Slavic women is simply not for you. So, in any case, telling the lady something like just choose several hotels and send me the option is not a good idea. I would say that uh, choosing the hotels and making plans for the trip is an important part of building the anticipation of this trip. And sometimes building this anticipation is even more important than the trip itself. And guys, you can get to know each other so much better, you can learn so much about each other actually while planning this trip. For example, you plan to go to the city and to do some sightseeing there and you plan to stay in the city center, then you can discuss with the lady if, for example, uh, she's the type of the traveler who likes to stay in the hotel in the walking distance to all the sites for example she doesn't mind using the metro or taking a taxi and investing more into excursions discuss how she sees this trip discuss what is important to her make some plans uh, which sites you will see which restaurants you will visit what will you do there what she wants to do there what you want to do there talk about it and what is also really important discuss with her if you are going to stay in one room if you are going to share the room or if you are going to book two rooms sometimes guys fall for this mistake and they believe that if they book one room then uh, the lady and the gentleman will get intimate quicker sooner they believe that uh, one room will kind of push the lady towards the man and it will automatically means that uh, they are going to have sex when in reality one room and one bed when in real life you haven't been intimate during your face-to-face -face real dates and we have already discussed with you that we are talking right now about the scenario when you have met in person several times one room with one bed will put a lady under lots of pressure so actually ask her before the trip if she prefers one room or two rooms remember that your goal is not to save uh, some money on one room it's uh, to test if this acquaintance can lead to a relationship if this relationship can progress to something meaningful and serious and of course if the lady doesn't feel pressure if she doesn't feel that she has to have sex with you during this trip because there is one room and one band then i would say the chances are stronger that you are actually going to uh, get more intimate during this trip so if you have asked the lady and she has told you that she would like to have two rooms don't try to pressure her to push her like let's have one room uh, why do we need to have two rooms we won't need it because the chances are quite strong uh, your acquaintance won't survive till the trip she will sing something like wow i'm planning the trip with this guy and he doesn't respect me now at this stage like i have told him that i don't want to stay in one room i won't feel comfortable and he's pressing me okay i'd better not go anywhere and it means that she is actually interested in getting to know you and not on having the trip because if you have asked the lady if she wants to have one room on two rooms and she has openly told you that she would feel more comfortable if you have two separate rooms for the first trip and you start pressing and pushing her like how come we don't need two rooms we just need one room then the lady will say no to this trip I would say that your chances are very high that uh, this trip is not going to happen. So if you have asked her, I respect her decision. She wants two separate rooms and do you with it, uh, book two rooms. And guys, I would say that for the first trip, it can be actually a good idea because the level of stress will be high and both of you will be actually willing to have some extra space of your own and if things work well then pretty much your next trip uh, won't require two rooms anymore what else it is important to know about your first trip with the ukrainian lady i don't recommend to do it very long because it will be emotionally quite complicated so the rule the longer the better doesn't apply here uh, the long weekend uh, can be a really good idea it can be a good idea to go for let's say a week if you are going far two weeks can be a lot if you haven't been intimate yet in ukraine it can be a little bit too much you will be emotionally drained after this trip what else is important to know it would be nice to plan the trip together you can tell the lady that for example you're 
trying to choose between this or this hotel and you can ask her opinion and if she's a smart lady she will see what the budget is like and when she will be suggesting other options she will be suggesting them within your budget just try to avoid words like that's too cheap or that's too expensive words cheap and expensive um, they can send the wrong meaning you're planning the trip of course you have a budget and the lady knows you have a budget so it is important to actually talk about it talk about what you plan to do talk about what you would like to do do the planning together if you are traveling to the place uh, for example Viv and uh, most uh, of the sites most of the websites would be in Russian or in Ukrainian you can tell the lady that it would be nice if she could google actually the excursion or she can book the travel guide and she can do it in Russian uh, so it is important to involve both parties both you and the lady so guys I hope this quick video was useful to you and I hope you are going to have a wonderful vacation with your Ukrainian lady with love Svetlana Mucha from Egypt for